Okay, everyone, welcome to the sewing portion, cocoon, kimono, whatever you want to call it, portion, also with the talking hands. Okay, right. There are a few things we have to get out of the way because they're very important considering what we're going to sew. So I need to say them now. Now, this is the sleeve, the front of the sleeve, and this is the back of the sleeve now this is the bottom part of the sleeve that is supposed to come out and form the cocoon now because we are doing flat felt seams and i want my fell seams to be on on the top on the right side of the garment you know like some jeans is on the inside but i want mine to be on the outside this way so you will see the double stitching on the outside and this is the right side of the fabric this is the wrong side all right so now what we have done is i have joined them wrong sides together almost as if i was going to sew a french seam but instead it's going to be flat on the top on the right side of the garment all right Secondly, on Instagram, we're having a, a poll. If you don't follow me, here is your chance to. We're having a poll on what color thread to use for the top stitching. Okay, and this blue color thread won, right? So I have um, put it into the sewing machine and I'm going to use double threads because I don't have this color in top stitching thread, okay? Then for my needle, I've used a size 16 top stitching needle right okay now even with this um, part of the garment right we can either put our flat fell seams on this side which means that more of this bottom fabric will be showing or we can fold it over this way and do the flat fell seam this way that means more of the black fabric will be showing but i have decided i want more of this fabric to show so i am putting it up this way and with that being said i will now have to stitch on this side right so that this color thread that we have is going to show up here then when i fold the um the flat felt seam and sew on top this way both color threads will be showing because i have a black bobbin thread okay and if i have a black bobbin thread and i sew on this way and i fold it's going to be a black thread showing and then the aqua green or blue thread showing and i want to sew i want to sew on here because this is a double stitch uh, this is going to show up as a double stitch but even if i put an aqua green thread in the bobbin it would only show up as a single thread right it's not going to have that color or that presence payoff as a double thread would okay that was a lot to get through but we have done that now so i'm just going to thread up we'll start sewing and get this party started And also there's an order for sewing because you know we have like a lot of intersecting seams like on the side seams so we need to sew in a certain order so unfortunately this is not one of the vi those videos you can skip and uh, stuff like that okay please just follow along and everything will be fine so you can see our first row of top stitching and this is why I was telling you that the back is going to be a black thread. Okay, you can see that we use the longest stitch length, which is five, and it's showing up quite nice here. So we are now going to fold that in. So I have uh, folded up these two portions right here so that you can see what our next step is remember we are still working on the sleeve right um so 
we are just now going to fold this in half and just tuck it in right make sure it's flat on the back as well because because it's a, this is a curve it tends to want to roll on itself so make sure it's on a curve and I'm just folding everything in half because my measurement for the flat fell seam was three quarter inch so I will just fold that in and everything is one quarter one quarter right so just pin and do that all the way down then we'll come back and top stitch okay okay guys this is what the sleeve looks like right we would this is the armhole side this would be the front of the sleeve I don't, i'm sure you guys can't really see but you see how it's holding up which is what i like it's keeping its shape which is what i was hoping would happen right with the top stitching and especially because this part of the fabric is lighter than this part for now but uh, i hope it looks nice at the bottom as well we're going to have a an elastic elasticated band here okay so yeah i'm really really happy with this particular outcome it looks like this on the inside right okay so um, we'll do this to the other sleeve as well so guys the other thing that will be joined um, without top stitching will be this underarm seam and that is just because if we try to top stitch it down with the side seam we couldn't uh, get in here to to top stitch the part that falls apparently flat felt seam means it likes to be sewn on the flat <laughs> right so um i'm just going to make sure my points join up here right so we'll be sewing with a half inch seam allowance okay okay so that is our seam and it matches over here so we'll just join that so the next thing we'll be sewing will be the shoulder seam right and i want the seam to fall on the front so i am sewing at the back so that the first line of uh, double stitching will show then i will fold it and fold to the front and stitch on there then the second one will show as well okay these are all the things you have to think about when you're creating a design and i do list them for you guys in in my videos how to be more efficient in your sewing because as you can see it just makes the decisions that i have to make so much more easier you know faster I've, I've actually written them down even the order of stitching right okay so uh i hope you guys can see what top stitching looks like and i have done both shoulders so the next step now will be to sew the side seams okay sew them up i remember like i said you have to follow this order because we're going to have intersecting seams and they need to fall in line okay all right then um side seams coming up so guys i am now sewing up the side seam right and if you can notice like this is the front right 
can see it's ended here. And I'm sewing um, the first top stitching in the front because I want the seam to fall on the back. That is because there is going to be uh, that whole striped thingy going on in the front here. And I just thought that and all the top stitching might be just too much for the front. So I wanted to put it at the back so that, you know, something else is going on at the back. But uh, yeah, same rinse, repeat. So fold over and sew again. Okay. All right. So as you guys can see, the side seam for the top part of this kimono jacket with striped collar has been sewn on both sides. This is the other side. Okay. So now we will do exactly the same thing, but for the bottom sides because this is the kimono, right? This is the front and the side seam. This is the bottom of it. So now I will sew the bottom parts together at the side seam. Okay, I'm still going to sew it like this. Right, sew it then sew it down to this side, to the back side before attaching it to this. Okay, so I'll do that and come back and show you guys everything. So like I said, we'll be joining the bottom half and the top and the top half together. So we are going to match up our side seams, okay? That is what we're going to do first. So I am back and I have pinned everything right down. So we're going to get four then I have decided that I want my seam to fall on top not on the bottom right so I'm going to sew this bottom half so that the top stitching thread shows at the bottom right just same thing like we've been doing before okay so now we have joined our top and our bottom pieces together Right now that we have joined them, see it's at the back, it's clean. Um, we are now going to do our just our regular folding this way and top stitching, right? But um, I was going to tell you guys, see this uh, part of this where we have two intersecting seams, right? Things are going to get really bulky here, right? So depending, I know my machine can sew through it, but if you don't have, you know, you can also just cut down this bottom layer, you know, trim it down the whole way, then fold and sew. That's also, you can also do that for a flat fell seam, but I haven't been doing that because this fabric is uh, quite light on its own. But for this part, you know, I'm just telling for you guys that are out there, you can just... I'll just show you, just cut it down, right, then obviously we will now fold this so that it's easier, right, so there's not much bulk in there when you are sewing, and as you can see the stitches line up very, very nicely, okay, so I'll just do that and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, I had to change the view to properly explain what I'm going to explain to you guys. So, as you can see, we have joined the bottom and the top parts, right? You can see the top stitching going on there, okay? So now, 
we have to add now our striped fabric from all the way from the hem here going around this way but this is too short so I cut other pieces as well and um, so this is the part that I want to explain to you guys right first of all I want the the striped fabric to end on a white note at the bottom here right and remember we haven't hemmed this so I want it to end on a white note right so this is the hem I will mark a uh, one inch here okay because I'm going to fold it half inch and fold it half inch again okay and I want it to start off on a white I want it to end on a white stripe okay so let me show our line again you can see our one inch line so I'm going to make sure I pin the white stripe this way so that by the time we fold half inch and half inch to sew from the hem allowance here it's going to end on a white note okay so we will just turn this over this way make sure it meets right the line there now I also want my my seam to fall on this side right so I want to be able to flip the flat fell seam this way okay? and this is our one inch Sorry. this is our one inch here I want it to fall I want the flat fell seam to fall this way just to elongate the look of this stripe okay so I am now going to pin our uh, one inch on the line here and pin it pin it this way we'll go around all this way and do that okay guys as you can see what we have set up here I have pinned the striped fabric all the way round. I know you can see that's that's the end and that's the top. So I took the other because as you can remember it didn't quite finish, right? So I took the other part and did exactly what we did on this side on this side. I made sure the one inch I made sure the one inch was ending on the white spot. So now we have this little conundrum and you know what your striped fabric might go right around without having this problem but like i said if you want both sides to end on one color which i feel looks more cohesive and more put together then this is probably what you need to do so i've gotten here fiddled around with how i want here to look and this is the best that i have come up with right these two white places will be joined in the middle so that it will look cohesive when you sew it through okay so what's going to happen is i'm going to get pins to mark this area okay get the pin mark where i want that to end then i will take it to the sewing machine open it up flat and sew these two parts together then trim off the excess here right and all this while everything is going to lay smoothly cara fabric okay all right so we'll go back to the sewing machine and do that and 
we are now going to sew right round and uh, after that we'll hem but after I'm done sewing I'll show you guys then all that we left will be the hemming of the will be the hemming of this and the hemming of the sleeve and we're done I will come I will put it on and show you guys at the very end so don't worry you guys will get to see how it looks okay all right so you guys I have joined up the inner seams like I said so I will just trim down this inner portion trim it down to like a quarter of an inch you know and as you can see I've interfaced it as well so that's gone now so when we fold it to look all nice and we can pin it okay so like I said I will now take this to the sewing machine and do a regular top stitch on here so that when it opens up like this we'll fold it this way and do our flat felt seam okay so let the sewing begin you can see everything is joined now so we will just fold this in here like this and top stitch right and our striped portion will be added on after this we hem our dress and we hem our sleeves and that is it you guys stay tuned to the end like after this for how i wear to see me wearing it and uh, thank you guys for sticking around so we'll clip into just the ankara part of the fabric on the neckline just so that it because it's a curve so that it lays down nicely and it's easier for us to to turn over and stitch on and do the flat filled seam okay just wanted to remind you guys about that okay all right also because of how thick this is and you know like I interfaced this right and it's folded twice plus this I'm going to trim down one side of this the inner portion of this flat felt seam just so that the bulk is reduced as I sew and I'm also going to take down this intersecting seam here just to reduce on the bulk okay so I'll show you guys just cut it down like that because even when we're going to hem it might get in the way cut into this as well Sorry for the abrupt end, the life of a YouTuber, you're filming but you don't realize you didn't press record. Like this video if you know what that's about. Anyways, this is the styling for the dress. You can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with a dress. And lucky for you guys, there is a A-Line dress tutorial on the channel that you can wear with this dress. So, I'll see you guys there.